Hey everybody, welcome back to Shamrock. Um, wanted to do a little quick sales uh, video. I got five going out tonight, and uh, we'll grab those in a second. I want to show my new sign. Um, been working on my shelves. My uh, I'm gonna have. I put the first one in last tonight. I'm gonna put another one underneath it, and then probably three or four high. So that'll be on my boxes. That should get rid of my pile over there. So, did do something cool. My sister got me a uh, uh, a neon sign for my eBay business. So I'm gonna start filming in front of it. But I got my sign up, my little Florida eBay hunter sign. Pretty cool. So anyway, I gotta finish it. I just got it hung. So, all right, let's pull some orders. Let's see what we got. And uh, I've been working on scaling my business. Something I wanted to say real quick before I pull these orders. <clears throat> something I'm learning. If you don't have a niche and you're just like diversified, you just kind of buy everything. I've learned when you're when you're part time and stuff, it's easy because you just wrap it whenever. But when you become, um, if you want to get bigger and bigger, I've realized uh, listing and shipping become a big thing. If you're doing four or five orders, it's not a big deal. But if you're doing 20 or 30 um that could be that could be a problem like uh take for example uh like a board game here this one's not a bad one but a board game will take you uh let's say battleship that'd be a good one could take you five minutes or more just to set up the pieces put all the little pegs in make it look you know look like it's being played Set the board up. So you're eating a good 10, <clears throat> I'd say a good 10, 15 minutes to list that item. So if you're trying to do 20 listings a day, that might not be a good route to go as board games. Because um, you're going to list four or five an hour. So it's going to take you four hours, you know, probably to list 20. So... And when you're boxing them up, um, used to it wasn't that big deal. Um, Priority has boxes that kind of fit the board game. Um, I'm sure they make some out there that you can get. But for me, I don't really dabble as much in board games, so I don't have board game boxes. So I've got to go build a box. So even on a low end, if I got a box close to it, there's five minutes. So one item could cost you 20 minutes worth of listing and uh, packing. So... Doesn't sound like a lot of time, but if you're taking that, like, 20 sales a day, which, you know, I'm not there, but I'm just doing the math. I'm like, I, if it's taking me 5, 10 minutes to package one, you know, you're talking, what are you talking, 6 an hour, uh, maybe double that, maybe 12 an hour. So, you're still 2 or 3 hours worth of shipping. So, that's some of the stuff that I'm kind of learning as I scale a little bit bigger. It takes a while. It needs to be efficient and it needs to be quick. That's why I'm liking clothes because clothes, you know, you just throw it in a poly bag and uh, it's ready to go. You know, like um, I've been listing all these new clothes and I've got that new listing on and I'll pull it out here in a minute. But like with these, I just pull it out. It's in a bag and I just throw it in a poly bag and uh, slap a label on it. You know, what's it take? Minute. So, um, those are some of the things I'm looking at. Um, clothing doesn't get broke. You might get some returns on don't fit, but it's it's not going to get broken. It's kind of way I went away from electronics. Um, electronics are also hard to package. They're big or heavy. Clothing's light. Um, I like magazines, stuff like that. They're Put some bubble wrap on it, slap it in a box, and on its way it goes. So, All right, enough dabbling. That's something to think about, though. Um, how long does it take to list your items, and is it worth it? And then on the other end, how long does it take to package it? Um, the keyboard, pianos and stuff. I make good money on them, but they take 20, 30 minutes to wrap some of those things. So it's paying the butt. All right. Uh, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five that went out today. Um one is the Dungeon Dragons uh, hand player book. I just bought these, and I just got them listed. 
So I got them all right here. And let's see if I can see which one it is. Is it that one? Yeah, there it is. I just want to make sure I got the right one. Anyway, uh, I got twelve fifty in each of these. The first one sold for twenty four ninety nine. So that one's going out. Uh, that's not one of the bigger ones. Some of the older ones I bought are like thirty, forty, and fifty dollars, but this is one of the lower end ones. So, but anyway, twelve fifty into twenty four ninety nine. I'll take it. Um, another one. Uh, I have a Disney clock and. Uh, I've had this for a long time. I don't know why it didn't sell, but I got $4.27 into it. Some, somebody offered me $7.90 plus ship, and I took it. And I hope I can find it, because it's on D. And we just did inventory the other day. And the kids supposedly put it back. And I am not seeing it. So, yeah. So, be right back. We got some boxes over here with stuff that we couldn't find. So, it might be in there. I'll be right back. All right, I found it. It was uh, in the box. They put it in there by accident. Anyway, a little Disney clock uh, lights up and everything. I've had it forever. I just really thought it was sold a long time ago. But I had it for like three years. Excuse me. Fighting my asthma today. Uh, 790 plus ship. Um, next one was a sign that I've had forever. Uh, I think I got it for free. It's called You Are Loved Sign. It's on E7. And uh, sold it for $1.50 plus ship. Mainly just to get rid of it. Oh, excuse me. Alright, I think that's it down there. Is this it? Yeah. Here it is. You are loved. Somebody gave me this. So anyway, dollar fifty. Nothing big. All right, and last two ones are the Civil War, Strange Facts, and Life During the Civil War. These are some of my dad's old books. Uh, two dollars plus ship for each of them. And uh, grab a chair. I'm hurting tonight, guys. Backs. My back's shot and my asthma's flaring. Sucks. All right. Let's dive in here. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Bookshelf. Let's see. Got movies. I need to get rid of these movies. I've had these movies. Somebody gave them all to me. I've sold some, but... I don't know. I don't know if you guys sell DVDs, but... I just, uh, I don't really sell them, so they've just sat here for the longest time. All right, looking for Strange Facts, that's Johnny B, Deep Heart, Civil War, and then Life During the Civil War, Buddy, Best Stories, no, Civil War Ghost, no, I hope we might read that one, that'd be pretty cool. Two Brothers, no. None there. Okay. Mm, it's not looking good. I know it's here, though. It's one of my dad's. Let's see. Nope. All right, I'm turning around. We're going to find it. Let's see. We're looking for strange facts. That's not it. Nope, nope. Nope, and nope. Hmm. Strange Facts. Strange Civil War Facts is the book. Nope, nope. I don't think any of these are it. Is that it? Nope. It's Calvin and Hobbes. Let's see what we got here. I'll be here somewhere. Is this it? Might be. I think that might be it. I think it might be Strange Stories. We'll keep that one out. That could be it. And then there's Life in the Civil War. That's not it, is it? That's my cookbooks. I start buying. Is that it? 
Get out of the boat. I don't know what that's about. Some my wife must have bought. Cars from Los Angeles. All right, guys. I don't know. I'll be right back. Let me find them. All right, everybody. I found the books. Um, here's the first one. Uh, Life during the Civil War. It's a little uh, paperback, kind of little soft cover. And then that one book was not the one. Uh, this is the right one. Civil War: Strange, Fascinating Facts. So my dad loved the Civil War. Had tons of books on them. So I've just kind of. Sold them here and there. I'm about done, but I got a few left. So, anyway, two dollars plus ship for each of those. So, nothing really big, but getting them out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, just a little quick video, a little five. I didn't done. I did some this morning, um, before I left for work. And uh, these are some of the old ones. I'm trying to purge a lot of my old stuff. Um, as you can see, four of these are old and then one's new. And I'm trying to clean out room for better quality stuff with better sell-through rates and uh, getting through that and everything. So, all right, guys. Like, subscribe. Uh, see you next round. Thanks for watching.